Breeze right now in uh, Denver with mostly clear skies on top of us. We'll get to enjoy a lot of sunshine through the rest of today. We're not going to have the usual cloud up like we typically see this time of year. We wrapped up uh, the month of June yesterday with temperatures a little bit below normal, but most of June was way above normal. 22 days, in fact, in June had above normal temperatures just seven days below normal. So if it seemed like it was a warm June, it's because it was. The uh, final number about three and a half degrees above normal, which from a climate standpoint is pretty significant. So we're now into July, the average high 89, average low 59. It is our warmest month of the year on average. And when it comes to precipitation, typically a little bit more than two inches in the rain gauge, which is more than any other month, 2.16 to be exact. It's never snowed in Denver in July. It's never snowed in August either. The only two months of the year snow has never been reported. Temperatures in the mountains today will be in the 70s. We'll see 80s out west, 80s for the most part on the eastern plains, some 90s showing up in southeast Colorado coming up here this afternoon. Air quality is an issue unhealthy for sensitive groups, so that's young children, older adults. Anyone with a respiratory problem should avoid prolonged periods of time outdoors with this air today. Moderate visibility. It is an ozone action day. You're asked to fill up your vehicle after 5 p.m. and always pick two wheels instead of four whenever possible. Take the bike instead of the car. Far northwest Colorado under a red flag warning until 8 p.m. Craig Meeker dinosaur. Gusty winds, low humidity, dry soil keeps that fire danger high there in the corner of the state. Zooming out, the reason it was so cool this morning, we dropped to 51 officially in Denver, is because of this front. This is the front that moved through here yesterday. That cooler air to start today. And some mountain areas were in the 20s this morning. But now we're warming up. High pressure is going to build up from New Mexico here over the next couple of days. But it never quite makes its way into Colorado. It's going to park itself over Albuquerque and Santa Fe. And with that high to the south of us and the clockwise flow around the high, it's going to bring moisture in. So we'll see a chance for showers and storms here in the metro area on Friday. Better chance for the 4th of July coming up on Saturday and we'll see warmer temperatures as we approach the weekend as well. Tomorrow highs in the lower to middle 90s approaching 100 down in southeast Colorado uh, for uh, Thursday. And then here's Friday's map. Highs still in the 90s will be right around 90 degrees or so for the 4th of July in the Denver metro area. We've got about a 50% chance for thunderstorms in the afternoon into the evening coming up on Saturday. And then after that, a 40% chance for showers and storms as we get into the daytime on Sunday. Andrea, fireworks, of course, usually start between 8.30 and 9. Many firework displays aren't happening this year, but some are. Temps will be in the 70s, and we'll see decreasing chances for thunderstorms in the evening on Saturday. So hopefully the firework displays that are going to go on, hopefully they'll be able to happen without Mother Nature interfering. And a pretty comfortable evening at that. Yeah, it's looking pretty good overall. Yeah, looks good, Ashton. Thank you so much. Coming up.